So in this problem, we're told that if c of x is equal to 11,000 plus 500 times x minus 4.2x squared plus 0.004x cubed is the cost function, and p of x is equal to 2,900 minus 9x is the demand function, find the production level that will maximize the profit. And so what we need to recognize here is that we have two functions. So let's write those out. So we have c of x, which is equal to 11,000 plus 500x minus 4.2x squared plus 0.004x cubed. And we're also given p of x. And so p of x is equal to 2,900 minus 9x. And so what we need to do first is find r of x, so our revenue function. And so r of x is going to be equal to uh, x times p of x. So it's just going to be x times this function right here. So r of x is going to equal to x times 2,900 minus 9x. So r of x equals 2,900x minus 9x squared. So what else? You also need to realize that r prime of x is equal to c prime of x. So the derivative of this is going to be equal to the derivative of this. So let's find the derivative of them and set it equal to 0. So the derivative of this is going to be 2900 minus 18x squared, or just 18x. And then we're setting it equal to the derivative of this function, or this one right here. So let's find the derivative of that. So 1100 is going to go to 0 because the derivative of a constant is 0. Then we find the derivative of 500x, which is just 500. Then we're going to find the derivative of minus 4.2x squared, which is going to be minus 8.4x. And then the derivative of 0.004x cubed is just going to become uh, 0.012x squared, so 0.012x squared. And then now what we want to do is uh, simplify. So we can simplify by minusing 500 from both sides. If we do that, we'll get 2400 minus 18x is equal to minus 8.4x plus 0.012x squared. And then if we add 8.4x to both sides, we'll get uh, 2400 uh, minus 9.6x is equal to 0.012x squared. And then we want to just move everything on the same side. so. Let's just move these over there. So we're going to get 0.012x squared is equal to er, plus 9.6x minus 2400. So now that we got that, what we want to do is set this equal to 0, then uh, solve for x. So 0.012x squared plus 9.6x minus 2400 is equal to 0. And then so in order to make this uh, easier to solve, I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 1,000 over 12. So this is just going to become x squared. So when we multiply everything by 1,000 over 12, uh, this becomes x squared. And then 9.6x, if we multiply that by 1,000 over 12, it's going to become uh, 800x. And then minus 2400 times 1000 over 12 will become minus 20,000. And then we have this e equal to 0. Then we need a factor and then um, so we can solve for x. And so when we factor this we're going to get uh, x plus 1000 and then x minus 200. And so these are going to be uh, our two x values. But so x is going to be equal to uh, minus 1,000 and then 200. But uh, the thing is that x has to be positive, can't be negative. So the only value we have is 200. And so x equals 200. And so that's going to be the number of units. So the answer to this problem is going to be 200.